Hey guys, what's up? It's Jack Still Legend here today. I'm your little Minecraft information video. And this week's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all about Minecraft 1.14 cats. You might be wondering, Jax, why is it 1.14 cats? Well, cats in 1.14 have changed dramatically. You no longer tame an ocelot to convert it to a cat. A cat is a mob by itself, so you find untamed cats in villages. And there are 11 different skins, so let's go and have a look at them now. Okay, so let's start off with this first cat on my list. The Tabby. And then we're moving on to the Tuxedo Cat, which is a design by Jeb's cat named Newton, who has sadly passed away. We have the Red Cat, the Siamese Cat, the British Shorthair Cat, the Calico, the Persian, the Ragdoll, the White, the Jelly. This cat is the rarest cat in the game, and it is named after uh, the YouTuber Good Times with Scar's cat. And then we have the black cat. So, stray cats have no collar. But when cats are tamed with raw cod or raw salmon, not the tropical ones, but just those two types of fish, they will get this red collar like this. If you tame your cat and grab out some dye, and then right click on it, you will see that the cat collar changes to that type of dye. So my cat collar, my cat collar's color is purple. Now you can put a name tag on these cats, but it, but if your cat doesn't have a name tag, don't worry, it will not despawn as long as it's tamed. Okay, cats will also sleep on the player at night if they are tamed and if they're not made to sit. And there is a 70% chance that the cat will leave a gift. Now these gifts can go from rabbit hide to rabbit feet, chickens and feathers, and string and membrane, which can also be super useful. Cats will also sit on beds and furnaces on their own, and your cat will follow you unless they are made to sit. Now that means if it's sitting on a furnace on their own and you haven't right clicked them at all, they will still follow you. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what happens when you go to sleep. Let me just hop into survival, and then unsit my cat and take a nap. And you can see the cat sleeps on me in a very cute position. Okay, so let's hop back into creative and walk over to the next thing. Let's just make sure this cat is sitting. There we go. On to the next bit. We're going to have a look at the transport of the cats. So, transporting your cat from, say, a village that is far away back to your base can be a bit tricky. But they, it can also be easy because there is a few pros and cons about this. Cats do not take full damage. So if you're going over a mountainous terrain, they will not die, although you might, you might want to be careful about that. And cats will follow the player or teleport if there are more than if the player is more than 12 blocks away. But there is an exception. If you have traveled a long distance on a boat in the ocean and the cat has nowhere to teleport to you, so the chunk gets unloaded and the cat is stuck in that chunk, they will not teleport to you. So, if you want to make them teleport to you while you're traveling across the ocean, you need to go on your boat, hop out, maybe build a 3x3 platform, wait for your cat to teleport, making sure that chunk isn't unloaded that your cat is in, then repeat this until you get to land. Or the other option is to get one of your friends online and make them stay in that chunk while you travel. But don't worry about your cat drowning if it's an adult because they do not drown if left in water, but if it is a kitten, it, they will drown. So now it's time to have a look at some interactions the cats have with mobs. Cats will hiss at both creepers and phantoms. The cats will scare the phantoms away from the players and the creepers will say, stay 6 to 12 blocks away from a tamed cat. Let's go and have a look at that now, over in my arena. Okay, so I'm over in this arena here, and I've got my cat in this corner, and I'm about to spawn a creeper over here. And you'll see that the creeper is super scared of the cat, and it is not traveling towards it. If I bring my cat slightly over by walking over here, the creeper frantically runs away into the other corner. Now, the cats do not chase the creeper, but they do scare them away. <laughs> and the creeper starts to panic. This is the same for the phantom, so let's kill off this creeper, make a knight, and spawn the phantom. I'll also hop into survival. I'm now in survival and you can hear the cat hissing away the phantoms as they swoop down. 
and they not going anywhere near to me thanks to my little cat here. And what should I name him? I'm gonna name him Gregory. Thank you, Gregory, for protecting me. <laughs> but if I sat this cat and walked away, the phantoms would come down and kill me. So that's why I have you, Gregory, to protect me. Okay, we are now back from the battle arena and it is time to have a look at the breeding properties of the cats. Cats are bred with raw fish like I said before, but this is not the tropical kind, just the salmon and cod. The kitten will be the one of the colours of the adults, so that's either say I breed a black and a white cat, it'll either be black or white, it's a 50-50 chance. You cannot breed two sitting cats, but you can breed one sitting cat and one mobile cat. If you breed a sitting cat and a mobile cat, the colour of the baby will always be the colour of a mobile parent. Now, if you're on a world without one of your friends and you're breeding two of your cats, one's yours and one's your friends, the owner of the baby cat will be a 50, have a 50-50 chance of being you or your friend. But if your friend sits your cat and you make your stand and then you breed them, you will be the owner and vice versa. So if you follow those ro rules, that should help you determine which type of cat you want to breed to get a certain colour and which ones you want to sit, so you're the owner. Okay, so let's head over to the village for a few more facts. Stray cats are found in these villages, but they may also be found in witches' huts. Now, the only type of cat that are found in these huts are black cats and no other colour. To tame these cats, you must let it come to you by holding fish and standing incredibly still. It will slowly walk up to you and once it reaches its destination, which should be directly in front of you, feed it raw fish until hearts appear. An interesting fact is that they spawn at one cat for every four beds. So that is up to 10 cats in a village, so that is 40 beds. Now let's go tame a cat. First, I have to quickly go find one. Okay, I found a cat just here and I've got my raw cod. I've also hopped into survival. And you can see now that I'm standing still, the cat is slowly walking up to me. So now if I look down slowly and click it, you can see I give it a bit of fish, no hearts are appearing, just some more fish and then suddenly hearts appear and it is now tamed. Okay, just to let you guys know, Wild and I now have a new Patreon. Now on this Patreon, with the different tiers, you can come on me and Wild's server, or you can chat to me and Wild on Discord. I would love to see you guys there. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description down below. So with that out of the way, that's going to be the end of this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed learning all about the cats in the new Minecraft 1.14 update, and I will see you guys later. Peace, and remember, stay carbonated!